The search is on for alternative energy sources to power vehicles, generators and other fuel-driven equipment. The price of petroleum, pollution from automobile emissions which is contributing to climate change and the fact that fossil fuel is non-renewable is partially fueling the search. One option is biodiesel. Produced from vegetable oil, biodiesel is renewable, environmentally friendly and relatively inexpensive. Minister of Transport and Mining Robert Montague recently disclosed the plans to supply the Jamaica Urban Transit Company, JUTC, with biodiesel made from castor oil. Marlon Samuels has more in this report. The castor oil bean plant grows quickly in varying moisture and soil conditions. The fruit is spiny in appearance. The seeds which vary in color can be harvested 68 months after planting. They have a high seed oil content. The oil which can be mechanically expelled or extracted with chemicals is being hailed as good raw material for biodiesel. Environment friendly. Biofuel reduces tailpipe emissions and nauseous and offensive odors associated with fossil fuels. Biodiesel can be used as 20% blend with petrodiesel in existing engines without any modification. As Minister of Transport, we just signed off on a big deal with a company to supply the JUTC with biodiesel, only to discover that the element they use, the mineral oil they use, is castor oil that they actually import from India. And we can grow castor oil right here in Jamaica. So what we are moving to do is to plant up a lot of these reclaimed land with castor oil and sell it to this company, process it and sell it. And the JBI is leading that process to plant some 5,000 acres of castor oil. But again, just step on some too because some big people import castor oil. And we're going to grow it here. And we want to grow it with the small farmers in the entire Jamaica. Biofuel has a range of benefits. It will increase Jamaica's energy security, provide new employment opportunities, and improve environmental performance. The benefits are being pursued vigorously by Jamaica's Ministry of Transport and Mining. For the news on PBCJ, I am Marlon Samuels.